Hi, thanks for watching BibleMountain.com. We live in a society that is big on self-esteem. There's a lot of effort to make people feel good about themselves. Unfortunately, Christians have adopted this mindset, and when we go to church or read the Bible, we expect them to make us feel good. However, the Bible is not designed to make us feel good. For example, Genesis 6 and Romans 3 teach us that humans are inherently evil. We are prone to sin. That does not make us feel good about ourselves. And Genesis 32 has a very clear illustration of this. When Moses had laid coming down from the mountain, the Israelites were very quick to abandon the one and only true God, create a golden calf, and start worshiping the calf and calling it their God. In other words, they were very quick to do evil. And so when we go to the Bible, we need to expect it to give us truth and reality. We should not expect it to make us feel good. Now let's take a look at this. We'll start in Genesis chapter 6. This is reading at verse 5. Then Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And so we see here a very clear statement that humans are inherently evil and prone to sin. Romans 3.10 As it is written, There is none righteous, not even one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. So here's a clear statement that everyone is a sinner. And again, these verses do not make us feel good about ourselves. They actually do the opposite. Now let's take a look at an example of this. We'll read in Exodus 32. Moses had been up on Mount Sinai receiving the law, and he was there for 40 days and 40 nights, and the Israelites got impatient, and they created a golden calf and began to worship it. When Moses came down from the mountain, he saw this calf and he got very angry. And then he had this to say to Aaron. We'll start reading at verse 21. Then Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought such great sin upon them? Aaron said, Do not let the anger of my Lord burn. You know the people yourself that they are prone to evil. For they said to me, Make a God for us who will go before us. For this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So I said to them, Whoever has any gold, let them tear it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. Now notice this last part here. Aaron claimed that he just threw the gold into the fire, and out came this calf. Aaron was not the ringleader of creating the calf, but he was a little more responsible for this. Aaron actually fashioned the calf. But let's back up and notice that when Moses went to Aaron and said, What are you doing? Aaron said, Look, you know these people. You know that they are prone to evil. And again, this is an example of a truth about human nature. Humans are prone to sin. We are prone to do evil. And this passage illustrates that the Israelites were very quick to abandon the one and only true God and create a golden calf and start worshiping it. And that happened mere weeks after the one and only true God had performed his miracles in Egypt, the plagues, and brought the Israelites out of Egypt. He brought the Israelites through the Red Sea on dry ground. He provided food and water and manna in the wilderness, and he had given them the Ten Commandments. But very shortly after all of that, the Israelites were quick to abandon the one and only true God and worship a golden calf because humans are inherently wicked. We are very prone to do evil and sin. Now, as I said, we live in a society that is big on self-esteem. There's a lot of effort to make people feel good about themselves. And unfortunately, within the church, Christians have adopted this mindset. We go to church expecting to feel good. We read the Bible expecting the Bible to make us feel good. The problem is the Bible is not designed to make us feel good. We see that in Genesis 6 and Romans 3 that teach us that humans are inherently evil and we see an example of that in Exodus 32, where the Israelites were very quick to abandon the one and only true God and worship a golden calf. And so the reality is when we go to the Bible, we need to expect to get a heavy dose of truth and reality. We should not expect the Bible to make us feel good. If you believe in the message of what I've said here, please join my Patreon page and make it possible for me to create even more of these videos. Patreon is a membership site that makes it easy for creators to have the resources they need to keep creating. In order to sign up, go to BibleMountain.com, click on Patreon, and that'll take you to a page where you can sign up. Once again, thank you for watching BibleMountain.com.